I'm Scott. Today we kind of got a special build and um, I'm doing a car for a local business here in town and I'm doing it for Tommy and his family. They own this little hamburger and french fry stand. It's called Comets Downtown Sliders and Fries and it is some of the best hamburgers I have ever had and their fries are just to die for. But the really unique thing, especially these days, is the customer service and how friendly these people are. It's amazing. And again, that's very rare today. So I want to do up a custom Corvette because this is his favorite car. He said if you ever bought a muscle car, he would buy a Corvette Stingray. So I'm going to do a custom Corvette, which is right here. And I'm going to do it black. And I'm going to do it with his logo on the side of the doors. And I'm going to put some pretty cool wheels on it for him. So I'm going to get this apart. And we're going to see what we're dealing with. But before I do that, I have a question for everybody that's going to watch this video. I, why did Mattel, because I have no idea. Why did Mattel make this casting? And it's still in production, I believe, because I found one yesterday at Walmart. Why did they make this casting with a metal base and a plastic body? And it's not a color shift. I understand those will have plastic bodies and the metal bases. But this is a normal Hot Wheel. It's not a color shift. I just wondered if anybody out there knows, drop a, drop a comment down below and let me know. It was just weird, I thought, because most all your Hot Wheels today are... You know, they're metal bodies with the plastic bases. But back in 75, you had metal bases with metal bodies. So, I'm just curious is all. So, again, let me get this apart and see what we're dealing with. So, stick around. Okay, so here is the Corvette Stingray all torn apart. And again, there's that metal base. And the windshield is really in great condition. And the body is too. And again, it's a plastic body, so we'll have to probably use some Bondic or some super glue to reattach it because you can't drill out a plastic body. So stick around. Okay, so we got the body in the paint booth, and I'm going to hit it with some Tamiya Fine Primer. Now, we didn't have to put this in the citrus strip because it's a plastic body. So now we're going to just do a nice coat of the Tamiya Fine Primer and get it ready for paint. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we've let that Tamiya Fine Primer dry, and now I'm gonna hit it with a coat of the uh, black paint from Chroma Air, and it's I'm gonna put on a couple light coats, and then I'll put on another heavy coat, and I might do one more, being how it's a plastic body, and I just wanna make sure. And then of course, we're gonna clear coat it with 2K Clear. going on really well I really like this chroma air paint I've never used it until now and I'm a big fan of it and they got a lot of colors with it now we're gonna get the top kind of a big hood on this car to spray so not much of a roof and not much of a trunk lid, but a huge hood. All right, let's continue. Okay, so we got everything done to the 1975 Corvette Stingray, or it could be a 74. I was kind of looking that up in this. I believe this actual Corvette's a 74. So um, the windshield was perfect. The base was perfect. Um, I had to I primered the body and gave it a great black paint job using Chroma Air 
and then I use 2K Clear to get that gloss shine. And I want to give a shout out to Ron over at Somo Diecast for making my decals for this build. They were excellent quality and they worked perfect. So thank you, Ron. So now let's get this together and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here's where we started with the 75 Corvette Stingray. So now let's get to the reveal and see how it turned out. Stick around. Okay, there she is, a fully customized 1974 to 75 Corvette Stingray with the uh, Comet Sliders logo on the side of the car. And I detailed the tail lights and the side lights on the car and got some great looking wheels and tires for it. And I can't wait to present it to Tommy and see what he thinks about this. So I'm going to put it in a little display case so they can put it up in their office or whatnot. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button and subscribe because it's always free. Show some love and comment down below and tell me what you think. Also, don't forget, if you know why Mattel back in 1975 made a Hot Wheel with a plastic body and a metal base, let me know as well. So we got coming up next, we all know what it is. Again, it's the month of May, and that's my time of year because that month of May equals Indianapolis 500. So we'll see you.